Oh, no. Okay, is my OCD gonna let this happen? No, I don't need this little ledge out. Okay, back to you in a second. Oh, God. Two of you? Two of you numbskulls? Come on, get out of there. Oh, God, what are you doing? It's low. It's a low priority. Well, hello, hello. And welcome back to episode 17 of the Iron Lords of the Beaver... I keep saying Iron Lords of the Beaver Mountain. Iron Lords of the Helix Mountain. Man. So anyways, a thing to note. Apparently, I just forgot to update the... Or I didn't update the uh, Timber API because my floodgate uh, triggers are back. And also, my smart power is back. My uh, The mod manager, for some reason, was having trouble installing the latest version of the Timberborn API. It, it was just like doubling up the folder and it wasn't actually like putting the the unpacking the folder correctly so i just had to manually do it i had to delete the timber api folders download it from mod.io and bring in the the latest uh api and then the two the only two mods i'm actually running in this in this playthrough are back up so i'm get to see my battery charge uh, and then my floodgates are back in operation. I went ahead and before I started recording, I set up all my floodgates and I changed how these floodgates are working. They're working off of being up when the drought starts and the bad tide starts, and then they go all the way empty or they, they open all the way up when I'm in temperate season. That way, you know, all the water just kind of continues to move and it only holds water when the, the stuff is starting. And I'm only three days away. I'm going to get the game going. There goes the bad tide. I'm only three days away from the bad tide. So I get to see how uh, all this stuff is working. I think for now I'm going to... Because there wasn't a start trigger. I'm going to set all these guys to zero. Because this is how they are going to operate normally. And probably beneficial too when the bad tide ends. Is that the water will probably flush, help flush out the... Um, the bat the bad tide water that would be in here and i have this set up again back with the i think it was which guy is on it this guy no what is this guy did i not oh yeah it's here it's all here it's not contamination and then all this water that from these all being wide open is you know it's got to we reach and reach 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 its equilibrium let me get this canola in cool that's all set Okay, I also saw something about, I actually didn't read, probably should have read the, the update notes, but apparently if the, the smaller the tile is, the faster it evaporates, but hopefully this doesn't evaporate that fast. Uh, this might evaporate though, but this should be pretty well irrigated by this channel. Oh, I'm also using the December 6 patch. So there were some bugs that they talked about in the December 6 patch that hopefully help address some of the other issues I was running into. What else can I do? Da, 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 da. Is there any stuff I can put in the fun district? I can probably start getting into setting up my cafe. Start working on this dam. Actually, what I might do is... Well, actually, I'm already at a million. I'm already at a million power. I might just expand this for fun just to see how much I could get by the end of the episode. Just like, what is my power draw or what is my power stored? Um, yeah, let me do that. Oh, dang it, this... This, uh, this all needs to be too wide. Cool. Let me see where that gets me. And also let me dynamite down this area. Let me, I'll get it a single. Oh, this is already a unified. Actually, that doesn't need to be there. I want to get them all the same height. So it's just easier to plant dynamite. Uh, that could be too high, too high, and three high. Cool. Get them working on that. Oh, yeah. Duh. I completely forgot that I'm also doing this extension. What can't be reached? It would be here. And I think that should take care of that little area. 
My algae is at 1.1k. I'm hoping that all this canola I set start making a dent into my algae stores, even my eggplant stores. Oh yeah, let me, the bat, bat tide is about to start, so I want to make sure all that stuff is working properly. And then after that, I think I might just do, do a little time skip. And I'll see if I can work on a transition, a transition between my skips. I don't know. I have Premiere Pro. I've, I'm not an editor. That is not, that is not where I come from in terms of my knowledge base. So as far as like, you know, knowing what I'm doing when it comes to editing stuff. Well, I, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Cool. My knowledge base is, hold on. I want to make sure this stuff is working. Cool. My knowledge base comes from like 3D programs, like um, 3DS Max and Autodesk Maya, but mostly just as an animator. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, okay, okay. This still hasn't. Okay, cool. Um, and also like traditional animation, but like on paper, I'm trying to learn how to do it or I'm teaching myself how to do it and get comfortable with it in like Photoshop and, um, Adobe animate and uh, a couple of other programs. I've tried using blender for uh, 2d animation. So like I'm getting, I'm getting back to my roots of animation, but mostly 3d animation is kind of like my knowledge base and then some some technical rigging some some technical side a little bit of coding nothing nothing crazy so editing software is a brand new thing to me uh and getting used to audio editing video editing you know it's, it's a fun journey it's a fun thing to learn you know new stuff to learn a new program but you know doesn't take away from oh uh Oh, is none of this set to cut? And also my lumberjacks aren't there. Let me unpause these and then let me set all this to get cut. Cool. And then like to continue where I was saying, like talking about the animations I want to include on the channel, most of it will be at least the one I have in mind uh, that I'm currently working on is 2D animation. I would love to get 3D animation onto the you know onto the channel it's just developing assets is you know takes time so to like make a model to make an environment to do the lighting that all takes uh, a substantial amount of time to like get to a polished point so you know the end goal is of course to have it on the channel and to like be able to creatively express myself in the ways that i want to and a couple of animations that i have in my head of like stuff i want to do but it's you know it, it it's it's the kind of stuff that as like a single individual working on this, it's very hard to push forward in any like big major projects. There are plenty of people who do, you know, and you know, time constraints with work and, and other stuff uh, definitely do kind of make some of that stuff harder for certain people. But, you know, eventually I'll get there. Eventually I'll get to, to putting to putting stuff on on the channel, some cool stuff. Well, that little ramble about me. Uh, I think what I am going to do is probably just, uh, basic maintenance and then I will come back to you guys in a little bit because there isn't anything too dramatic. I want like this to get done. I want this to get built. Um, so nothing too major to cover with you guys, you know, as those two things get built, I can't necessarily make progress in this, this little thing. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll come back to you guys probably when the bad tide is ending all right did i do a transition did i do something fun there i don't know we'll find out um but yeah bad tide is almost over uh they're making pretty good progress with at least this building still haven't really touched here uh i've been continually switching out i could probably switch out that guy too switching out my breeders for the advanced breeders um just because you know i haven't really used this I'll switch out those two as well. I haven't really used this one, and I know it's like the, you know, it's supposed to be the the upgraded version. At least it costs more science, so I will assume it is the upgraded version of the breeders for this faction. You know, so might as well. 
might as well start throwing them in there. And if I throw myself into chaos, then, you know, then it's good for the video. Drought ended. So now I get to see these should all open up. All the stored water they have should help flush out all of this bad tide. At least that is part of what in, went in my head as to how that would work. Doesn't seem to. Hmm. I mean, it's fine. I'd rather have the the you not know, damming up the water kind of created its own problem about like back flushing and not having consistent flow out here. I'd rather they be open anyway. Didn't quite do the job of flushing out the bad tide the way I wanted to. Um, considering there's just so much bad tide that's stuck up here that that's kind of what is the biggest problem in terms of getting the water out. I wonder if there's, I don't know, I don't think there's any real way because the, the sources are so scattered in this little pond. It'd be very hard to try to do something about that other than putting in some like bad tide pumps that'll help get the water out of there. Hmm. I mean, that might be something. I have a stream gauge in here. It's reading contamination levels. <sighs> it's reading contamination levels. It would have to, it had to be disabled during bad tides, come back on during temperate cycles and then what do i do with that bad water in this district other than try to move it over here which you know it's i am needing bad tide or i do consume a lot of bad water yeah let me try it i'm gonna get a little i'm gonna get a little road out to dead center so getting a bad water pump and I need to attach this to a stream gauge. I'm going to probably pause this. Wait till that stream gauge gets built. I don't think I can attach it. Yeah, can't attach it to an unbuilt one. I should also probably continue to get platforms up in this area. I might actually, for the aesthetics of everything, you know, this is kind of the, the final little lip of that edge. Get all of this. Okay, give them some more stuff to work on. Uh, this is also going to need some storage. I could just do it there, right here. God, I love the flipping mirrored buildings. Uh, and this is collecting bad water. And then I'll set this also to slightly higher priority. Cool. This is good to go. And I can get rid of this guy, get rid of this platform, and get myself my other water wheel right in there. Increase my power by a little bit. I'm gonna get that a little higher priority. And then connecting into here is going to be, which side? If I do, if I anchor it here, I won't have that path. I won't have this path around, which this is already pathing me around here. Well, I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. I'll, I'll let that chew in the back of my brain. Okay, so I'm at 458 canola seeds in this area. These guys have plenty of canola seeds. Oh, I should probably have... No, I do have bots. Not him. Bots in this area. Power saving mode. I might want to get... Let me actually get a couple of little storage units here for canola and have these guys want to obtain. And this could, I had this at obtain, but I'll have accept goods. And these guys get put up on priority. Cause I think what's happening is they're like spiraling up to get to here in order to come back. And it's like causing a little bit of downtime. Uh, 1.8 food, still pretty high in my eggplant and algae. Looks like corn is being made first. I'm still have no canola oil in my tanks. Well, let's hopefully that'll help solve that problem. This is all the advanced breeder. This is I'll wait a little bit for them to spit a kit out before I switch it over. Man, has that really taken that long for water to come around? Like four days? Or I'm still dealing with 
you know, I just happened to catch a, another little blockage issue from some of these other uh, levees and dams. Oh, well. Uh, I thought having the gates completely open would have helped a little bit, but maybe more of the issue is, you know, these these little blocked areas of the channel or the river. Hmm. Cool. That power is up. I'm at almost 6,000. I would assume horsepower per second, whatever the game quantifies as a second. Oh, this, this stuff is getting up too. Uh, did they land dynamite? No, not yet. They're still working on this stuff. And I got to see which one of these uh, little uh, levee sections they're just not going to be able to do. Logs is at 1.2k. I definitely chewed through a bunch of logs setting up these jobs. These guys are chewing through their log piles. I'm, am I moving logs out? Moving planks out. How can I be moving planks out? Uh, okay. I guess we're moving planks out somehow. Uh, at least, or it's just like stored in there. And he gave me the symbol that it's moving out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's moving. Okay. Man, I might need to put another oil press. Two doesn't seem to be really keeping up with my with my demand yeah let me go ahead and just in here i can slot in another oil presser let me get that up yep it's gonna cut power to everyone else put that as a bot coolio probably when i get down here on this side i'm gonna want to try to backline into this section of power so i have a slight redundancy actually let me go ahead and do that this this was already established to myself that this was going to be my edge Got that up with a little temper. Oh no. Okay. Is my OCD gonna let this happen? No, I don't need this little ledge out. Okay, back to you in a second. Okay, <laughs> now refix that. Um, cool. So this could get me. I just need to build the ledges that go up and over this to help bring power down. And then as soon as that happens, I can bring that up and around or uh, like connect it back through here just so I have a redundant system. I have a, a, a way that when I build stuff over here, I disconnect the line over here. Power is still coming from the other side. While I was building all that, what does my canola oil look like? Still, still don't have anything stored. No grease has built up. My algae has gone down, but my eggplants haven't. And what does the soybean also use canola oil? Soybean uses canola oil. Soybean's down a little bit. I think it was at like 400. What's this looking like? Oh, surprisingly, I don't think I need other platforms. I still need to, this is a T junction. I might have my anchor here on this side, which means all of this platform support could probably go out. As soon as I have it here, they're not gonna be able to, ah, it doesn't have to. If I build on this side, I could, you know, it'll still give me some some room to, to branch out pathing through this little side. It'll look like a friggin' maze up here. It already does kind of look a little bit like a maze, you know, rats in a maze. Okay. Oh yeah. This no good. Let me get some irrigation barriers. I think this should be enough oak for this area. Granted, I'm well, I'm, you know, getting pretty, pretty through my wood stores. Oh, can I not reach? Oh, I can't even reach these. Let me get 
a little bit of assistance here by getting some platforms and then a road so they can get to this stuff. And while I'm doing that over here, I can get some irrigation barriers. I'll put one here, one here, one here, one here. Let that all get built. As soon as this gets, actually, I don't need to get that blown down. It actually would probably make things harder. Well, not harder, but just a little trickier to get the stairs in there. So I have a path that loops around. Cool. Nola seeds are at 1K. Hey, algae's finally going down. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, there goes my algae rations going up and skyrocketed. The little canola oil skyrocketed my food to 3K. Yeah, seeing a little more canola oil. Um, starting to actually save some now. Ah, oh, that's cool. I, I didn't really, I, I didn't really look at or pay attention to the fact that um, the the iron teeth were so like canola oil being a pretty like resource intensive or uh, an intensive resource for them. Let me just get rid of that breeding pod. Get another advanced in. But yeah, that's cool to know. To know, cool to learn because there are a ton of resources on the iron teeth, like the grease and a couple of other things where. The canola oil seemed to be pretty important, like their food chain. I don't, I don't remember what the folktale food chain is, but yeah, cool. All right, wait for that tank to spit out its baby. That one too. Got a drought incoming. All right, now the kids out there. Another advanced breeding pod. This is the last advanced breeding pod. Oh no, I got another one over here in the corner. And uh, what are I think this is using the advanced already. No, that is, does it have a breeding pot? It does. Let me go ahead and just switch this guy out. Just kind of clean in house on all the uh, quote unquote inferior breeding pods. I do have to check this number to make sure that I don't end up setting myself in a, in a hole by having, getting rid of my regular breeding pods. 130. I'm going to have like no children at least. I think that's the way that these breeding pods work. Okay, so now as I was waiting to do all of my breeding pod switching, this did get finished. Cool. And I think what I'm going to do is connect into here. So if I get power like this, this is the middle unit, just in case now that's blocked off. I could just do like that T section there and then cone back up to the top. Go get rid of this platform and then I can put in this guy. Cool, cool, cool. Let me kick that up to get built. Uh, let me actually also kick up the. Oh, God. The little connection to it as well. And then this guy, how are you going to do your thing? Uh, huh. I actually might have to switch this over because this is connected, but how do I connect here? I can't anchor it to that side. I need this side here to somehow get, I might have to gap kind of like what I have here, which is I have a gap between my walls. I should have done that here. I should have done a little a little gap in order to help, you know, facilitate some of the the actual connections like what's happening here to have that the anchor wall and have other stuff. But I did not do that. It's gonna have to be on the other side. So it means that a lot of these wheels, or at least the wheels before the turn, are probably not gonna be connected to any sort of power, not for a little bit. Well, if I have the anchor I can connect them up to here. Or if I have the 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 wall I, let me let me do that let me let me put it in as i'm talking about it it so this is what i'm getting at might as well also just in case so this is going to be like here this is going to be my my gap between my walls and have this anchor onto this side and then being able to move back around here. So I might actually have to build pathing 
that kind of rides above this little situation so that they can continue to like do their their functional stuff it would essentially be like this and then going to need just in case i want to build or probably i'm going to build out that way uh this is not going to be like that this needs to be like so and like that and this is going to be stale stales and be like that for now and then this is going to get blown out so that I can add the large wheel what are they doing over here oh wow what is my power storage 1.3 million what is this recharge Are these guys the same height? They're not. I want to get them the same height so I can just kind of drag everything and get it all blown up. Oh god. Two of you? Two of you numbskulls? Come on. Get out of there. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? You guys are going to be building that stuff. If I set this to high priority and I set all this stuff to I set that piece to low priority. Is that going to make it so you guys don't get stuck? Nope. You're just going to continue to build. Cool. I said low. Nobody give this guy a task. This is going to be taskless. I need this to get built. Plenty of other stuff to work on. Go work on that other stuff. Oh God. What are you doing? It's low. It's a low priority. I, th I feel like I almost want to get... <laughs> unstuckify installed oh there you go cool we're good ah oh, you guys are gonna keep doing it huh let me have my stairs at my absolute highest priority so that gets built first and hopefully nobody else gets stuck but more than likely somebody else is going to get stuck that is just kind of a, how these beavers seem to live their life okay 132 i don't remember what this was 11 population uh, I don't really need a lot of homeboys over here. Okay, so this is going to be an advanced timer here. And this is going to be disabled during drought, disabled during bad tide. Basic is pause when drought starts. Uh, pause when, unpause when, no. Uh, pause, pause when bad tide starts. Unpause when bad tide, no. Uh, this is unpause when temperate starts. Pause when bad tide starts. Pause everything else. It's disabled during drought and bad tide. And it will... Depth is... Contamination. Pause when contamination is less than... So it's going to unpause when contamination is greater than 100. And it will pause when contamination is less than 0%. I'll we'll put one. Well, unpause when greater than one. Greater than one, pause when less than one. Only during the temperate season. And then let me turn that on so it gets built. Hopefully that does what I think it's supposed to do. It should mostly be off. It's only going to be on for like one little bit just to help get the bad tide out when the bad tide ends. Okay, where's this stuff at? I can detonate that. That's all one level. This is not one level. Uh, if I'm going to match it to there, I think this is three. And that would be two. And then could, are these the same level? That's the same level. So let me wait till that matches. And I think that's one level lower than this side. Yeah. So maybe do one more down. And what's going on over here? They've got that mostly built. And I can get rid of that. And I can get in another large water wheel. Power should be connected. So I'm currently at 6,500. So 65K horsepower. This should put me at over 7K. I wonder how they break up. Is it is it like seconds, hours, days? How they're actually calculating? Almost one and a half million horsepower stored. Okay, let me blow these charges.
Okay. Why is that happening? Weird. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. That's all getting good and done. Nice and plenty. Okay. So, uh, this large water wheel is up and I'm at 7k. 7k horsepower. Or HP, whatever HP is. Now, are these all at the same level? Yes. So now I could just click and drag the whole thing. And now I'm pumping down on all sads, which I like. That's not up yet. Oh, do I not have a space for metal blocks? I don't think I do in this district. So let me get a small industrial pile so I can get some metal so they can build this bad water pump. Canola oil is at 500. Food is at 3.4K. Lovely, lovely, lovely jubbly. This is... Hmm. Maybe... Where where am I not? Is it this stuff? Is it these, these corners? Can't build there. Can't build there. They can build there and there. And build there and there. Not exactly sure what the... What the actual rules are why something would not be protected by the barriers and or not let me get oak down here in this little section i've added this area is too tall for the the bad tide to affect it but over here is not considering these barriers don't feel like they're doing much i might just instead of putting barriers just blow down kind of to where these are the same height just kind of give me that gap like an air gap okay let me go over here. Nope, dynamite's still not up. Cool. And then I might call the episode as soon as this section of dynamite gets put together, put through. As soon as I dig all the way down, which I might do in various cuts. Just kind of dig down. Oh no! Ah, did I put two? That is not what I wanted. Hey, terraformers, you got another job. Uh, fix my mistakes. That is not what I wanted. I wanted one high. I want a one depth charge. Uh, speaking of which, did you guys add more? I don't think I need it anymore, but they did finish up my other request. So let me get the canola here. All right. I think that that after that little edit that might call actually. Well, I didn't realize I, I haven't uh, set this guy up. Well, while that's getting built, I now have 1.7 million HPH horsepower per hour stored in my battery tower. Um, this is now generating 7K horsepower per hour or horsepower per second. I'm, I'm not sure exactly. Yeah, my wood stuff, my wood storage has been pretty much solved. I gotta figure out what's going on here. Why none of this seems to be working. None of these irrigation barriers seem to be working. At least the way I think they should be working. But whatever. Figure that out in the next episode. I've begun my crawl down to the redundant power. Uh, my food is completely solved. Or at least probably solved. We're at almost 4k food now. Just having the extra canola oil. Canola oil is getting stored. Still don't have extra grease, but that's fine. Uh, you know, I have tons of bots. Bots take tons of grease. Uh, might need to build even like a second greaser. Get these beavers all greased up. But yeah, pretty good. Yeah, I think I will call the episode there. I will see you guys. Please take care and bye.